Uh, here we are at Kaneo. It's a two kilometer by one kilometer mineralized zone. Uh, we've got Chris here. Chris, tell us a little bit about Kaneo and how it relates to Uru, which is to the south. Okay, so in Uru, we were down at the bottom part of the basement in the volcano sediments. And here at Kaneho, we're further north and we're towards the top of the lower volcano sedimentary sequence. So if we go a little bit further to the north, we're in the sediments. But here we're at the upper part of the lower part of the basin. So here you can see all this mineralization here is related to a volcanic unit. Looks like it's a uh, intermediate uh, volcanic unit. And it's just been fractured again. And all of the fracture network has been filled with chalcosite. And here on this topographic high here, it's just oxidizing to malachite over a big width. So the channel samples in this area were well over 25 meters true width. In fact, if you follow it right up there where you can see the guys up there now, yeah. that's at least 80 meters away and it's still the same horizon. So we've got a big chunk here, which is about 30 meters. There's a break, then it starts again and it goes up there. So if we look at the strike length of this mineral zone, it's probably about 150 meters. Yeah. yeah approximately how far are we from Uru? Uru, we're north, so we're probably about 40 kilometers to the north. Yeah, Maybe and I hear a bit more. Nice, and I hear we got some native copper here actually in this uh, area. Is that correct? Yeah, sometimes in, in the weathering environment where you get large accumulations of chalcosite, <coughs> primary chalcosite, it'll weather if you get the right environmental conditions and it will form uh, native copper. So we have seen native copper in this area, but you can see from the outcrops it's pretty much all malachite. So. Right, and what are we running here in terms of uh, copper percentage on this outcrop, approximately? Okay. okay, so I think the 25 metre continuous sample was just over 3% copper, but we've got another uh, numerous zones, because it's not continuous, there's a valley in between that are connected. We've got zones 15 metres, 10 metres of plus 4% copper here, so those same really nice high grades related to the chalcosite weathering at surface. Nice. Well, thank you, Chris.